And so crisis management in that sense is uh, success in any leadership role is about defining success, uh, giving a vision. It's no different in a crisis. So this the, there's a much more bur- you know urgent burning platform here. But what's important to us? What success look like? And there were times where success was turning up the next day and still being alive in a business sense. So let's just get to tomorrow. What are we going to do to get to tomorrow? What are we going to do to get to next week? What are we going to do to, you know, keep the airline together enough for the sale process to happen? What are we going to do to uh, make sure that, you know, in the un- and before JobKeeper, you know, JobKeeper came along, we had to make decisions about standing down our people. So what are we going to do to make sure they can still earn a living? So we're on the phone to the Woolworths and the Coles and the Combanks of the world and making sure that there was alternatives for them as well. So it was really about making sure that you had a clear definition of what success looks like in a much shorter time frame, and go about everything you do every day to make sure that that success is possible. And so it was clear to me pretty quickly that our balance sheet wasn't that strong. Um, when you watch $6 billion worth of revenue disappear almost overnight and your cost base is still pretty fixed, it doesn't take long. Qantas had, have subsequently said they only had 11 weeks of cash left and they are an airline with one of the strongest balance sheets, balance sheets in the world. So that that's an indication as to how dramatic the challenge was. 